Today I got to bear witness to a little bit of gaming history. An event that I'll no doubt be telling my grandparents. Nope, I said that the wrong way. An event that I will no doubt be a grandparent and still... What the fuck? It's an event that when I'm a grandparent, like I'm really old, and I have a granddaughter or grandson, I will sit them down and tell them where I was when this moment happened. I'm not even going to redo the intro. What an absolute fumble. Point is, today at a huge tournament that our squad, the Moist Esports squad, was competing in, there was a hacking incident, the likes of which the world had never seen to this scale. It was for Apex Legends. This is a game that's no stranger to hacking. There's been more cybersecurity attacks on Apex Legends than there has been on the goddamn US government. Like, at this point, I'm starting to wonder if North Korea happens to be getting involved with hacking Apex just for fun because of how prevalent this how prevalent of an issue this has become. But it's never happened in the actual ALGS, which is the major tournament series. Today was the NA Regional Final. Right now, our team, Moist Esports, is second. And per usual, I was watch partying. And then something went awry. There were reports that a player for Dark Zero had just been gifted hacks. And I thought this was some kind of meme or something, but after the fact, it turns out, no, someone turned hacks on against his will. I think the only reason this hasn't happened sooner is just because of... Pure Wait, fucking luck. What the You're fuck? Getting worry worry I'm getting hacked. I'm getting hacked. But I know, I know. Sure. Can you play the game? Bro, I, I'm getting hacked. I know, but can you play? Can you play? Yeah, but it, I'm, it's cheating. The fuck? I know, I know. Sure. I know, I know. I know. What? Well, like what? Now, if you're not familiar to the game, I'll just go ahead and break this down for you. This isn't normal. He can see every player, name, their health, everything. He's basically omniscient at this point. It's wall hacks. He was gifted wall hacks. It turned him into a goddamn Professor Xavier here. He can see everyone. He knows where they are, what they're doing, where they're going, what their health is. And that's cheating, obviously. Now, the player is not a cheater. This was something that the hacker injected into their game and turned on. He left the game shortly after the hacks were activated, which was a very noble thing for him to do, very sportsmanlike to not like ruin the competitive integrity of the rest of the match, because he had more information than the NSA at that point, thanks to the hacker. I also saw this tweet floating around here to try and explain how Destroyer 2009 was doing this. It's also a screenshot of the hack that was briefly seen there. You can see all of the different uh, features that he blessed them with. So according to this individual, the hacker Destroy2009 is using webhooks, which is a feature that makes it possible to send data in real time between two different systems or applications. And according to some of the pros in the lobby, they did like a system scan of their computer after the ALGS was stopped because of this. And a lot of them reported that they had viruses on their computer that weren't previously present. I don't know how true that is. Right now, it's all anecdotal and, like, rumors amongst the pro players. I also don't know if they're just memeing about it, to be fair, with a couple of them saying it. But it does seem plausible. Like, it, it, that is something that has happened in other games where if there's, like, a really severe vulnerability, someone can actually get into your PC itself. We've seen that in Dark Souls, actually. So, it is in the realm of possibility. I don't know if that's necessarily the case here. I'm not smart enough. I'm a fucking idiot to understand exactly how these hacks happened but it is definitely not good so he left and that still wasn't the end the hacker could have injected cheese to other players that weren't streaming and maybe decided not to leave you know it's entirely possible it threw the entire tournament out of whack because how widespread was the issue and we got an answer because another streamer who was competing in the tournament well the biggest streamer in apex imperial hal also got gifted aimbot but yeah, those that don't know, Apex has a very colorful history of hacking problems in their game. Hacks that you've never even imagined were possible. Such as, if you try and shoot at the hacker, it forces your guns to infinitely reload. They have hacks that can just take over your shit, like you're seeing right now, where it literally takes it over and gives you hacks. There was also the hack that gave you like three guns. They're shooting bridge. They're, they're, they're pushing. Come take the building. Come take the building. Come yeah, in. Okay, okay, okay. Can we shoot? Can we shoot height? Can we shoot height? Yeah, yeah. Shoot now. I, I'm, I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm, I'm fucking shit. I got aimbot. I have aimbot. Oh, no. Uh, so who is this anonymous hacker known as 4chan? Who is the culprit behind this attack that shut down Apex for today? Destroyer 2009. A 15-year-old 
has managed to hack Apex Legends on the biggest stage for this game, with pro players competing for millions of dollars, so a lot of money on the line. There's lots, lots a lot of fucking clams out there, and a 15-year-old was able to breach their cybersecurity protocol and completely ruin it to the point that Apex had to just call the entire day off because he wouldn't stop gifting people aimbot and wall hacks. Now, not only did he gift them aimbot and wall hacks, but he also gifted them thousands upon thousands of Apex packs, which is their loot box mechanic. So, some of these streamers' accounts just got juiced out the gills. Krampus came early and he delivered the coal. And some Apex packs to some lucky streamers, I suppose. But this shut down the ALGS as they investigate and try and fix this issue, which I have no confidence in them doing. Apex has been in this state of disarray when it comes to their security, their anti-cheat. It's terrible. There's no excuse for it. It feels like just a losing battle with them not even really putting any effort into the war. Since day one, really. When I was like a competitive player in Apex at like a semi-pro level, hacking was big then. And it's only become more frequent now. And it doesn't feel like they've done a whole lot to fix it. It really doesn't. It feels like Apex is less secure than Club Penguin. It's ridiculous just how easy it seems to be to hack in it. I am not surprised this happened. I am only surprised it didn't happen sooner. Like, I really think the only reason the ALGS hasn't been hacked before is just because no one gave a fuck to do it. They didn't care enough to bother hacking in there and ruining it. But today, Destroyer2009 said, you know what, I finished my Algebra 1 homework a little early. I've got some time to kill. I'll just go ahead and throw some hacks into the ALGS for a little bit of chaos and pandemonium. And so we did. Like, it's... It, it's... Really upsetting. Because I love Apex Legends, and I really love the esports scene for Apex Legends. I love it. Our squad is incredible. I love watch partying each and every event that we're in. It's great. But there are just so many glaring issues with the game itself, this being one of them, that it just, it desperately needs to be addressed. They need to do more to prevent shit like this from happening. This hasn't happened in any other esport ever that I know of. And another thing that I'm just going to mention while we're ranting and venting about this, going through this cathartic session of vomit, the way ALGS handles their lands is also kind of laughable. Like, at one point, they hosted it through, like, the normal, private servers, right? Because at a major, a LAN event, it means every team that is competing is there in the same physical location in person. So, you would expect them to host it, you know, you know through the private server locally or whatever. But for some inexplicable reason, they actually made the decision to host a LAN through online servers, which everyone said was a disaster waiting to happen because it just leaves you vulnerable to all kinds of problems like players lagging or DCing or technical issues out the wazoo, which is inevitably what happened during like the Split 2 playoffs. During this event, there was a suspected DDoS attack when everything was halted for over 20 minutes. EA denied that it was DDoS, saying that on-site technical issues uh, had no evidence of a DDoS attack, but many players and teams were still convinced of it, including me I, and all of us at Moist Esports. Hosting a LAN event over online servers is silly. It's not like they have to do that. They made the conscious decision to drink stupid juice, I guess. Because the Split 1 playoffs were hosted on a private tournament server. But for some reason, Split 2, they decided not to do that and instead just used a private part of a public server, which left it vulnerable, which everyone told them would be a problem. And, well, it turned out to be a problem. Now, let's assume that for the next major, they make that decision again to use online servers to host it. They've done it before. Well, who's to say Destroyer 2009 won't come out of the shadows and wreak havoc once more, like the boogeyman riding straight from hell on horseback and inject hacks into the major? You're fucked if that happens, because people bought tickets to attend it, teams flew out there to compete in it, you won't have the luxury of just postponing it and doing it a different day. You can't reschedule that because, again, you've also only purchased that arena for those set dates. You'd have to refund everyone, including the teams, the players. It'd be a complete disaster. And it is very possible if they decide to once again host a LAN through online servers, since Destroyer2009 has really put the clown makeup on them here to show that they, they can be hacked even at the biggest possible stage, at the highest possible level, it's, it's a big issue, clearly.
So yeah, that's kind of the uh, big apex hacking situation in a nutshell. Hopefully they get it resolved and hopefully everything is smooth sailing from here on out and they actually put some real effort into developing their anti-cheat and evolving it further to finally make a real dent in the, the cheating problem with the game and you know really grab the bull by the horns here and start fixing shit. That would be wonderful. I hope this will be the wake-up call for that. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. That's really about it. See ya.